Nation. Now in our top story, plans to impeach Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa are already in the offing with sources privy to the plan confirming that the latest meeting was held last week. According to the petition seen by KTN News, the Deputy President is accused of undermining the President by opposing some of the decisions made by the Executive and holding him hostage. And as our senior political affairs reporter, Chris Tyru, explains, signatures are already being collected and the plan is to table the motion in Parliament soon after the vetting and approval of the nominees for the position of the Cabinet Secretaries. For close to six months now, the relationship between President William Ruto and his deputy regarding Gashagwa has been frosty often differing in various decisions making by the executive, the latest one being the controversial finance bill and members of the opposition joining government. KTN News can now authoritatively confirm that there have been meetings planned by anti-Gashagwa leaders to impeach him. According to the petition, the deputy president has been accused of being irresponsible, blackmailing the president and holding him hostage. He has incited his natives to believe taxation is only meant for them and not for the whole country. Opposed to taxation and rejected the finance bill in the cabinet, a move that left the government with an egg on the face. He held a meeting with disgruntled avocado farmers and the Nyamakema traders at his current residence on diverse dates where he ordered KRA to revert taxes from 3 million shillings back to 2.5 million shillings. He's also been accused of insubordination. Sasa jameni sisi wakikuyu ni nani ya rituroga. Serikali tumeingia ata miakabiri ya ijakwisha. Tumepewa serikali uko juu tuko. Na kama tumeshirwa na kazi, tusiingiri ya rais, tuede tuuriza viongozi wetu kwa nini kasi ya ifanyiki. Na pia tunaomba rais na naibu yake. Pia mutuishimu. Atuesu mkubali, mutu wanakuja anataka kufinya viongozi wadogo. He opposed the demolition of houses along Nairobi River, which is his mandate under the executive order of 2023, forcing the transfer of the mandate to head of public service Felix Kosgei. His shareholders' remarks where he demands 47% of the shares betraying the tenants of presidency, which is a uniting factor. <laughs> Na tunawajua kwa mienedo yao. Na usiku diyo wanakisha moto, wanakishia rais moto usiku. Mchana wanaogea wako pamoja na rais. Lakini usiku diyo watu wakuunganisha wakikuyu wengine na jamii ya mautikinya kuerezea vile tumefinywa. Kumbuka hile statement ilikuwa kule wakiingia. Akasema weo huru ulitukosea, iyo mambo ikaisha. Tukatoka hapo. Haka muambia ongea juu ya shareholding, akaenda kisumu, haka muita primitive. Ali kuita regarde primitive ni sisi unaita primitive. Sababu sisi ni mtoto wetu. Tulipo toka hapo. Juzi haka muambia raila hata ingia state house. Weka mitego. Iyo mitego imefika wapi? Ni hame nyiriona hake igerio. Alafu muna kuja kutuambia ati tukaya hivi. The president has allegedly complained that Gashagwa demands unreasonable shares of appointments, looking anything from parochial tribal angle. Impeachment of a deputy president is under Article 150 of the Constitution. Among the grounds for impeachment include gross violation of the Constitution and gross misconduct. According to sources, the latest meeting to plan the impeachment was held last week. The deputy president has been at loggerheads with some former cabinet secretaries and legislators who accuse him of dividing them and playing the tribal card. With the new political arithmetic where the executive has already agreed to work with the opposition in both the National Assembly and the Senate, it will be a walk in the park for any anti gashagwa legislator to table a motion of no confidence and manage to marshal support that will see Gashagwa exit the stage. Chris Tairo, KTN News in Nairobi. Well, President Ruto concluded a five-day tour of the coastal